Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Dave Gunther, and you're watching my first talk show, and we got a doozy of a guest today. Um, well, first off, welcome to Trailer Tales. I'm your host, Dave Gunther, and one of my childhood best friends is on the program today, and she is she's a special gal. And we haven't we haven't seen each other in a bit. We get we're gonna reconnect today. Uh, and let me introduce uh, my pal, a big blast from the past, Tammy, y'all. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me on your show. I appreciate it. Of course, this is fun. It's been a minute, man. Yeah how uh, how long has it been? At least three or four years. Right. Mm-hmm. I moved out to California. That's what it was. Yeah. I was wondering where you went. <laughs> yeah. Daryl and I moved out to California. You know, he uh, wanted to be a professional sandcastle builder. So we're out there trying to. I remember, it- I remember we, we used to play in the sandbox. Oh, yeah. I mean, you would build. I mean, you used it, even as a little girl, you started building dicks and stuff. I was about man. to say, those big old, <laughs> the big old dicks. <laughs> At daycare. Remember I know that? in daycare. At Teddy's daycare. Yeah, we got in so much trouble because you would do the big old dicks mm-hmm. and then I would like put titties and stuff and then they'd be like you know oh man we were what two or three yeah oh man it was, good, that times. Was good times that was good, good times. times hey my dicks have gotten bigger have i will they? say <laughs> my booze have gotten well a little droopier a little saggier yeah a little saggier you know but i'm still into art you know yeah and uh what kind of art are you into lately? well sand art sand art still? i'm still on the I sand i mean ar- is daryl influencing you like that oh he is wonderful at sandcastle building and we're really trying to get him a sponsor and get him known and that's what we're that's what we're out there trying to do well i've seen like some of your like your tiktoks mm-hmm. and and your instagrams and stuff like that and like uh, i'm not i'm new i'm new i'm new to this whole social media yeah. <laughs> game and stuff like that well welcome to the club <laughs> it's Thank great you. it's great Okay, well, it feels nice to be in the mm-hmm. club, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, so is Daryl, like, what's going on with him lately? Because, like, the last I heard about him. You mean the weight gain or? Yeah, the weight gain. <laughs> well, he was working at a tire shop, mm-hmm. okay? And so he was lifting all those tires. I mean, and you got to somehow provide outside of your art sometimes. Exactly, because he's not making money right now right um he was working at a tire shop so he was lifting heavy tires and working out and stuff well all of a sudden i started banking on youtube yeah started making some serious money yeah i'm talking three four thousand dollars a month i've seen your muck gang bang videos okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, those, are, those shades are good and uh i said baby quit your job you don't need to work no more you don't need to work no more i'm gonna take care of you and uh, he quit his job, and the motherfucker put on 60 pounds, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, what you going to do? Well, I love a dad bod, so I'm not mad at it. Yeah, you I'm into not that? Mad. I'm not, yeah. Yeah? Big time. Yeah? Well, I always had a thing for Dan Connor. Okay. From Roseanne. Oh, my God. Don't yeah. even get me started on Roseanne. Yeah, exactly. That was the first lady I beat off to. I believe it. Yep. <laughs> I seriously believe that. Don't get me that. started on Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, she, it's the attitude on her. Yeah, that's that was what hot. I like. It's a little bit of that feisty mm-hmm. energy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Sometimes mm-hmm. if a woman is just classy enough with a, that feisty, and she knows what she wants in life. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. I'm into it. Kindness is boring. It really is. I like people telling me, you suck to my face. Yep. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Talk I do. behind my back. You're not my friend. Exactly. And that's why we always hit it off growing up. I know right away it was one of them things where it's like we gravitated towards one another. Well, here's the thing. It started at daycare with the dicks and tits. So yeah. I, I was drawing the dicks and while all, all the other kids were running off scared and telling the teachers, you didn't. No. You stuck around and you, you added some balls. And, yeah. You know, and, and I said, <laughs> man, this dude's awesome. I mean, I... If I may say so, I know that Daryl's your man, and, the, and the, he's <laughs> really good. But you want to fuck me? I do. I, I do. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie right now. You came in, and I got a little worked up. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. <clears throat> Everybody does. I mean, you just got that thing. Big tits. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you got two of those things. I got two of them. And what I'll say about my my, my thing with Daryl, like I I, I yeah. won't knock his art, okay? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I will say I am the best Dick Vane artist mm. if sand in the world. Like I used to mm. put the most detailed little graphics mm. in them penises in the sand. And I believe you. See, he don't draw dicks. And I've only gotten better. I've only gotten better. That was when I was three years old. You haven't seen me recently. You've not seen my Dick Vane's recently. I haven't. 
Can you post a picture? Uh, maybe. I want to see these veins. Okay, I will show you. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to like it. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be looking at me like, I want to fuck him. Oh, damn. I know Daryl's your oh, man. Damn. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I know. Baby, if you're watching, I'm sorry. What, what camera? I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> he knows it. He knows, he knows it. He knows everybody wants a piece of you. He and knows he's, it. He's fine with it. Everybody on YouTube, every time I post a video, people are like, tell me I want to fuck you, I want to fuck you. I'm like, but, you know, like, it's that, but it's been that way since I was a kid. You know that. Yeah, of course. I tried many yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> First you, you know did. Yeah. Hey, I just want to say, we never fucked or nothing. No, we never did. We've always been just good friends. You were the first ball sack I ever saw. Are you did you know real? that? I did not know that. First ball that, sack. That, see, that is a kind of fact that makes a man feel good. Mm, mm. And I never told you. Until now, but I'll never forget it. It was after school one day. It was a Tuesday. Uh-huh. Okay. And I was watching Ricky Lake. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you lived uh, two or three trailers down or something. About three trailers three, down. Three trailers down. Yeah. And after Ricky Lake, I'd always come outside. We all played till supper, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, I went outside to play and you weren't, you weren't there. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, where's he at? So I went to your trailer because your mom and dad weren't, ho- weren't home from I'm work. I'm starting to remember the story. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh uh your parents weren't home yet and yeah. um it's about to I, get walked to the good part. <laughs> I walked in and I, I was like hey you know i was looking for you and i didn't hear you and uh i walked in and i went to the kitchen mm-hmm. and you were sitting there making ramen noodles butt naked and you were jacking off <laughs> and we were like what seven or eight <laughs> something like that i just turned and seven I, and a half <laughs> That's and what I, I used to celebrate half birthdays, I just, baby. Like, I'd seen a dick before, uh-huh. but never balls. Wait, whose dick had you seen before that age? Tim's. Oh. Because I'd only seen my dad's. Okay. And when you see your dad's, mm. it's the biggest thing you've ever seen in the whole wide world. I never then, saw my It's dad's. like you go back to grade school later on, and you're like, it wasn't as big as it, I remember. It was average. It was probably. average. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a normal dick. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen my dad's. Are you serious? Never did. Mm. Never did. I think you're missing out. I'll ask him for a picture. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe Nothing text. sexual, just to say, hey, I, yeah, I've seen my dad. Just dick. no, just so you know, like as a woman, like yeah. that's what I came from. Yeah. it's important to know where you came from. You like where you're from. And I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that. But uh, you turned around and you know you was jacking it, and I saw the balls, and I was like, well, you know, I was like, oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to town getting rid of that ramen. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I, need little, I need a little season. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I said, uh, oh, man, I'm sorry. You know, I said, uh, <clears throat> I'll be in the living room, you know, eat your ramen, nut, whatever you got to do, you know. And then you did whatever you got to do. And we, we went out and rode box. And I'll never forget that. My first nut sack. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. You're the first cooter I ever saw. The first what? The first cooter I ever saw. The well, first I just straight cooter. up showed it to you. Yeah, well, that was a different story. <laughs> Tell them. Okay. Tell Here's what happened. Here's what happened. I was like, damn, I, hold on, hold on. I didn't know it was going to go this deep. Well, I didn't know either. I mean, is Daryl going to be pissed at this? No, he'll probably jack off to this video. Okay, then we're in. Okay. Tell him the cooter story. Okay. <clears throat> so we're at the pool, right? <laughs> we got. We got a neighborhood above ground pool, okay? A nice All our one. families pitched into a this nice thing. A nice one. A nice one. Nice. It took about six families to get this thing <laughs> yeah. assembled yeah. in the front yard. Mm-hmm. No backyard. We don't even have backyards. It's no. all front yards when you live in a trailer well, park. Well, you wanted everybody to see it. You, you want, want everybody to know, hey, I've got money. Like, hey. I've I'm got a, money. If you got it, you do flaunt it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we got this thing, okay? It's like. Probably, well, back then, I don't even know how deep it was because we was kids. It was I probably th- about four or five I, feet. I, say, I think it was a five-footer. It was a five-footer? Five-footer. Dang, girl. Mm-hmm. Man, times was good, wasn't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. we're swimming. We're swimming. I'm doing laps, but laps don't take long in an above-ground no. pool. Second. So, right? Two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? You're, just, you're done with the laps real quick. Oh, you never damn. get that good of exercise <clears throat> swimming laps in an above-ground pool. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm looking around, and uh, you get one of them. Them camel toes. Yeah. And well, uh, I've always had one. <clears throat> yeah. Now, do you purposely do that? Oh, no. That's natural. That just, you're, you're, you're that's natural. Your pussy just swallows up them. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you got big old lips, yeah. You, nothing you can do is going to stop that. See, and if a man is intimidated by big old lips, mm-hmm. you gay. I agree with that, honestly. Right. And there's so many women out there that say, oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed because my fat pussy. 
Men don't give a fuck. Let Not me tell you that. Not at all. Not at all. Damn. Hey, do you like steak with a little bit of fat on it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like that. I'm going to use that. Hey, take it. That was good. <laughs> That's yours, yeah. I'm going to use that. Yeah, right? Okay. Okay. Right. Yep. I like that. So I'm swimming with and pool. And Tammy is, she's, you know, she's got her camel tone and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I see it. I got the, the mm-hmm. I got those little, little He snorkels. kept going under. I kept he kept going, going under. under. I kept going. And I kept actually, you know how you, there's a little snorkel? I kept, I kept suffocating because I kept going a little bit too deep because I was diving a little and bit And I knew deep. what she was doing. You knew what I was doing? Yeah. <laughs> I knew what she was doing. So finally, I dumb. So finally, I pop out of the water. I'm choking. I'll spit in the water and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And, and, and Tammy just goes. Do you just want to see it or what? Like, just like, ask. Plain as day. Just ask. Just, Do you want to see this eight year old pussy? Just, uh, just Do you ask. want to see it? And how old were we? Eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eight. Maybe I was nine. Mm-hmm. It was Somewhere under under the two digit under the double digits for sure. Yeah, we definitely hadn't mm-hmm. blown out two mm-hmm. candles on a cake yet. No. <laughs> yeah, because no. we couldn't afford the individual candles. It was always just the big fat number. Yeah. That somebody made like in wood shop or something. They put on the top of the cake. Exactly. So. You you just say you're just gonna show it to me. You and wanna, I, you wanna see it? And like I was like Yeah. <laughs> you about passed out I almost before passed I even out. spread them. Before. Before. And it and then she did one of them Sharon Stone things. As a little girl. I don't even know if you had seen that movie I, yet. I just watched it. You just watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just watched that movie. Yeah. Okay. I got I when I say I got lost in this thing. Yeah. It's all I could think about. Yeah. For the next probably ten years of my life. <laughs> Well, I thought something happened to you right after you looked at it because you got all weird and you got all quiet and you started mumbling and drooling and I thought maybe you hit your head or the oxygen or something yeah. happened, but it was just in awe of the pussy. It was in awe. Yeah. I did also earlier in the day get bit by raccoon, so I don't know mm. if it was a reaction to the rabies or anything that I had just gotten. I would but say- I think it was more pussy than, than, yeah, than raccoon. Yeah, I would say that's a coincidence. I think I would say it was too. pussy. I think it was probably pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pussy. But I got lost in this thing, and I just like, that's when I became a man, I think. I was like, mm. this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. When you see something yeah. that's so perfect, sometimes you just realize, mm. can I make this my living? Yeah. I found out I couldn't later on. I couldn't yeah. make that my living. Right. But- Impossible. It was a special moment. And the fact that we were able to just remain- Plutonic friends oh, out of all that. It never got weird. It never got weird. It was like, you saw what I had, I saw what you had, and then we could just get on with our lives yeah. and just be friends. Exactly. More friends uh, should actually show each other their We jumps. got closer. We got way closer. After that. And not in a weird way. Not in a weird way at all. And people are so weird about that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm changing. Don't look. 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 Just look. <laughs> look at it. Just look at it. Because you know the person wants to. It won't bite. Well, maybe yours will. I mean, that's, that's a maybe thing. <laughs> I mean, that is a fun Woo! thing you got going between your life, girl. I mean, all that Man, <laughs> we've had some good... Damn, I miss you. I miss you. We've had some good times, man. I mean... Hey, <sighs> you remember when our parents got in that big old fight? Okay, you remember what happened? You came to me mm-hmm. one day. Yep. We were... Mm, I was even younger than the pussy incident. I was probably six. Yeah. You came to me and you said, Tammy, I, I walked in on your mom on top of my dad humping. Yeah. And I said, uh, no, my mom's got a husband. Because at the time, I didn't know what cheating was, you know. I don't think any of us knew no, what it was. No, I, 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 I didn't understand that. No, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't know what being drunk was until... <laughs> I was a teenager at least. Yeah, 13. I thought, I thought mom and dad were just like being silly and happy. That way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I didn't believe you. And I went and told my dad. And next thing I know, <clears throat> your dad moved. That's when your dad moved. And yeah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you did kind of break up my family a little but bit. But I didn't know I was six, you know? Yeah, it's okay. I don't blame and you for it. technically I didn't. My fucking slut mom did. I She's know. the one that fucked your dad. <laughs> I know. You know? But, um, you still haven't seen my dad in a long time. Mm, I'm sorry about it's that. Okay. It's all right. I still yeah. got you as a friend. Yeah. So I mean, things <laughs> are good. My parents are still together. And, oh, really? You know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. My dad got over it. Oh, well, yeah. he seems like a good man then. Yeah. 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 yeah I but, wish my um, dad would write or something, but yeah, mm, I haven't talked to him. Is he in jail? 
You know what? Uh, he kind of hey, disassociated. He, he, he stopped talking. I don't know. I don't know where that man is. If you hadn't heard from him, nine times out of ten, he's going to be in jail. You know what? I know that from personal experience. That makes me feel better. You know? That makes me feel better. And he just can't reach you because he don't know your address. That's exactly what it is. I'm dead he serious. He don't know my phone number. How's he going to know it? Out of I, don't, I just got Cricket Wireless, okay? He's not going to be able to look that up on Google. That's true. They don't have technology to do that, do they? No. Like, I'm just getting on, like, the gram, and I'm just getting on different things like that. Like, no. you know better than me. I, You're all, like, this tech savvy <laughs> shit. Like, you upload well, to YouTube and stuff like well, that. Well, I'm an internet sensation. Well, I mean, it's, and I will say, there was jealousy at the beginning for me. Just mm. because I knew what you used to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, nothing. I came from nothing, and now I've got it all. You built an mm. empire. Yeah, I have. I'm making so much money. Will you shut the hell up out there? They may, they may be picking up your dad. Do you think that's what it is? I hear something. Dad? Mm. Dad? Man. Hey, I'm going to find him for you. I've got lots of internet followers. I'm going to put out a <clears throat> put out a message and say, I'm looking for this guy. Yeah. Now that we've... His name's Dale Gunther. Dale Gunther. <clears throat> I'm Dave Gunther. He's Dale Gunther. Now that we've reconnected and rekindled... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find him for you. Okay. That would be a huge help. What if he's a piece of shit? I'm going to say, fuck you. That'll feel good to get off you your chest. You know how long I've been waiting to say that? But if he's cool, I'm like, I love you yeah. where you been. He I'm may so be mad. cool as hell. He may be cool. He may be real cool. Yeah. He might be cool as a koozie and on Tuesday. And you know what? His dick actually may be real big. If his dick is big and he's cool, I'm going to start crying. Yeah. I'm going to start crying. Because be that's like, a good dad. That's a good dad. If he got good dad dick. And he's a cool guy. Mm-hmm. And he say, mm-hmm. "I miss you." If he say, yeah, mm-hmm. "He miss," me, I bet he does. I will miss break you. down right in front of him. I bet he I does. I will do it. I bet he does. Did you ever see my dad's dick? No. Okay. I'm just but, checking. But if you, I didn't know how much of a man or my dad was <laughs> when I was a kid. And I don't think your dad was weird in that way. Oh, that's good. That's. I good. think he was a good guy. Okay. You know. Yeah, I guess. But it now was, that you yeah. know, I'm an adult. I'm in my thirties. I'd like to see it. <laughs> okay, so we got to get a picture of my dad's dick. Okay. Uh, your dad's dick. Okay. And then just let's just start a text chain and we can start talking about her dad's dicks. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm dead serious. I don't know if you think I'm joking, but I'm. Uh, I'm dad serious. Okay. <laughs> 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 Damn, dude. Woo! Oh, my God. It's popping off. This show is popping yeah. off right now. Hey, good first episode so far. I mean, am I doing okay as a host of a TV show? I'm going to be honest with you. You haven't been on social media or nothing. That's how we lost connection yeah. and you you hit me up out of nowhere and you said Tammy I'm starting this TV show you know you're all famous now you want to be on it and I yeah. thought oh this motherfucker's gonna you know you know you're a Ricky Lake get the fuck out of here you're a Ricky Lake you stop fucking looking at me right now when you're saying I look like Ricky Lake and I am Ricky Lake e- e- those words hit harder than I'm going to start crying I'm serious. right now. The way you interview, the way you are towards the camera, you are Ricky Lake it, 2.0. Am I that likable? Yeah. Oh my God, this feels good. Who yeah. needs a dad when you got fucking compliments like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this show's going to be successful as You think fuck. so? I think yes. it's going to, I think it's going to, what the kids call popping off. Yeah, it's going to pop off. Right? I'm not, I'm dead serious. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, here's the thing. I know, Tammy. It was a big ask. I I had to ask you, and it was something that, you know, we haven't talked in a while, and I know that you are big and, and, and you've blown up and everything. Super famous. You're super fam- You're a sensation. Yeah. You're an internet sensation. I'm not yeah. going to dance around it, okay? No, that's not. <laughs> and it was a little bit of, like, an ego check for me yeah. to hit you up and, and be like, I, I need a favor, because I know that, you know, I know how many white trash people from our past hit you up and have asked for favors. So I, it means a lot to me that you're even here in the flesh right now. Well, you know, I am busy. And when you reached out, I was like, oh, I don't know. I got I got this to do, you know, and I got, you know, and then I thought, you know what? No, we we had a good friendship. Mm-hmm. And I saw your ball sack for, you know, you're my first ball sack. And I said, I, I got to go see this motherfucker. You know? Yeah. So I'm here, man. And I'm ha- hey, thanks for having me. I'm. I've had a blast. I mean, it's been great having you on the show. I mean, we got a little bit of time left, oh, but let's not keep, much. Let's keep going. Not much time left. Let's keep going. The producers, Jay. Oh, I've never. What does this mean? 
What does this mean? Uh, grow your dick, maybe, or what is it? What does this mean right here? What's that mean? What's that mean? What's he doing? What's that? Hey, Matt, what does this mean right here? Matt, what does this mean? Okay. Oh, it says go longer. Oh, go longer. Okay. Oh, we haven't filled the time yet. Okay. Matt, what does this mean? What does this mean, Matt? Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> okay. Shit, this interview and stuff is harder than I thought. Yeah. I yeah. thought we did like three hours already. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. <clears throat> man, <clears throat> this is crazy. <clears throat> Tammy hooked me up with some sponsors. So today we're brought to you by Honey. They discounted her on food for some mukbangs. I saved on mailing letters to my missing daddy and more. <laughs> we all shop online and finding a promo code for everything always taunting me when I get to the checkout. <laughs> but thanks to Honey, I don't have to search for promo codes anymore. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes. When you're ready to check out, Honey applies the best one to your cart. Boom, instant savings. Honey has found it's over 17 million members over two billion dollars in savings. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. We're talking wife beaters, American flags, hair products, whiskey, keys to unlock handcuffs, sandbox sand. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and it installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Jeremiah. That's joinhoney.com slash Jeremiah. Dang, Tammy, we got another one? <laughs> We're also brought to you by Caliper CBD. My friend Rusty, the insomniac, he took Caliper. He slept like a baby. He said, what is this miracle drug that you gave me? I said, it's not a drug. It's all natural. Caliper is a better way to take CBD. No more gross oils or tinctures you have to put under your tongue. Nasty. Caliper CBD powder is completely tasteless and mixes easily in food or drink. No weird taste, no oily residue or mouthfeels. The best part is it all comes precisely measured. Each packet contains 20 milligrams of CBD. Never the question is how much CBD you're taking again. Plus, Caliper is clerically proven to be superior to standard CBD oils. Your body is mostly water, and oil and water don't mix. Remember science class? <laughs> CBD oil is no different. It's calisthenically proven that you absorb 450% more CBD with Caliper CBD powder compared to tinctures. That's crazy! And Caliper gives you all the benefits of CBD in just 15 minutes, about twice as fast as CBD oil. Unlike some products out there, Caliper is completely tasted free. All the goodness of CBD with no high, all natural non-GMO ingredients, no fillers, added chemicals, or artificial flavors. So try it today. Get 20% off your first order when you use promo code Jeremiah at trycaliper.com slash Jeremiah. You can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's trycaliper.com slash Jeremiah. Don't forget promo code Jeremiah for 20% off your first order. Now let's get back to Trailer Tales with one of my best pals in the whole wide world, Tammy. But you know what? It's this the show Trailer Tales. It's all about it's all about catching up with friends, and it's about it's it's about you know we had humble beginnings, oh, yeah. and some yeah, of us did. have had uh, not. Not humble endings. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working on not humble endings. I want to go out on top. Yeah, I want to be like on a jetpack, mm -hmm. zipping around the world like Iron Man. But instead of using my superpowers for good, just going fuck you. Hey. I've got an iron suit now. I'm rich as shit, you dumb fucks. You stick with me, and that's how it's gonna be. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. Like I said, I'm making three, four thousand a month. At least. <clears throat> no, at most. Shut the front door. Yeah. I'm making money. Last month, I brought in $3,700. Praise Jesus. Yeah, oh just by God. internet stuff. Oh internet God. videos and, and uh, you know, muck, my mukbangs and I, stuff. I don't want to, to say this as a question, but what's it like? It's, uh... <clears throat> It feels weird, you know, because I grew up so poor, you know, and you know I that, mean, yeah, you know. You look good. Yeah, thank you. Like, what year is is? Thank is you. Is that tailored to you? 
Oh, I had this shirt's custom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reba's team sent that over. It, it sent, Reba's team yeah. sent that over to yeah, you? Yeah, they did. I used to watch that sitcom every day. Yeah. With you as a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. And now she's making my clothes for me. <laughs> That's how big have I you, am have on you, you. Have you talked to Reba? I have spoken to her. I've never met her in person. We FaceTimed. She's told me what a big fan of, uh, of you know, she's a big fan of mine. Yeah. Reba. Hey. I mean, do do you think Reba has money where she'd be down to contract Daryl to build her some sand stuff? Have you ever s- tried to slip that in? I know, like I've never asked her just because I don't, you know, I don't want to bother her. Yeah. But but if I get drunk enough, I will. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to a Reba party? No. Mm mm mm. No, I haven't. And here's why I think I she- went to a Kenny Rogers protest. That's the closest I've ever been to a celebrity. Wow. Yeah. Was he there? Yeah. Damn. Yep. Oh, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. I oh, know. Oh, no. Rest in Islands in the Stream. One of the best duet, the best duet of all time. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Lady. Mm, damn. You're my night shining on. You're going to make my pussy throb. You keep doing that. And I love you. <laughs> you have made me what mm. I am. And it's throbbing. <laughs> I am it's your Robin. Sing to it. Late pussy. Mm. You're my knight in shining armor. And I love Back you. Back to nut. <laughs> you have made me what I am. Mm. I am yours. Can I just say two things? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number one, I've never had anyone sing to my pussy before. What was it like? Did it feel good? Um, I about came. And I'm close. And after we're done, I'm going to go finish myself off. I heard that you almost nutted. And I didn't know that girls nut, to be honest. Oh, I nut. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Really? Big time. What's the biggest nut you ever had? Court. <laughs> Damn, girl. Did you just say a court? What the fuck? We got the flood flash warning going on over there in that pussy, girl. I mean, what the hell? Woo! <clears throat> like a quart of pickles? Like that, that kind yeah. of court? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm a little bit... I'm calm, I'm calm. I'm a little bit nervous, girl, because that's it. I was thinking you might say a cup at the most, a cup, one of those little Dixie cups, yeah, court, like like one of those little mouthwash things. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It was one of those little little miniature beer pong like party cups. Maybe when I was twelve, <laughs> you were squirting <laughs> that much when you were twelve. Yeah. Oh my God. You have always been very sexually advanced for your age. Do you think oh, it's yeah. just only gonna? Do you think you'll get up to a gallon someday? Oh, I I give it. See, I'm 33. Yeah, I say by 40, mm-hmm. I'm galloning it up, mm-hmm. no doubt. Yeah, you for wanna, sure. You you want to ask me how much I've come before? You want to ask? You want to ask me? That? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss I'm gonna toss it over to your new host of the show. <laughs> It's Tammy, y'all. She's going to interview me for a second. Okay. Okay. Um, what's the biggest load you ever came? One time I shot out a full-on piccolo. <laughs> I came a musical instrument. And one time, I jizzed out a pack of licorice. Pulling Damn. pills. I've never came objects. Just uh, body fluids. Let's just say I got a 3D printer down here. <laughs> Damn. Yep. You All know, right. you know, uh, you know. Sometimes how they fill cement in with stuff. Yeah. We. That's me. <laughs> That's me. I'm at loss for words, to be honest with you, because I didn't know this existed. Hmm. I didn't know it was humanly possible. I've never been more 
what's the word I'm looking for? I've never been more impressed mm-hmm. in my life. Yeah. I didn't know you were this cool. Yeah. I mean, I knew I, I, I did know that, but not to this level. I can shoot loads for days. Mm. You know, like on the back of trucks when it says wide loads? Yeah. I got, that, I got that as a belt buckle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can you imagine if we fucked? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my. One of us would probably die. I mean, seriously? It would probably be the next Katrina. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. I'm dead serious. Yeah. We better not because um, I'm dead serious about one of us dying probably. No, I think that one of us would be, I mean, if you're coming courts. Courts. I mean. And if you're coming staplers. I, I, well, a lot of people don't know that we have air holes mm, down here. Mm-hmm. And if there's too much. Yeah fluid going everywhere mm-hmm. you can suffocate a dick yeah and i believe that that's why i'm always extra careful when i'm fucking yeah i always think about the man so yeah you always pull out right always see and a lot of people don't know women can pull out mm-hmm. i, I mean, pull out yeah just slurp it back up you yeah know? it's like a big, big old big old 7-eleven drink right exactly exactly that's always what i say too yeah mm-hmm. we are more locked than i ever remembered dude i mean damn it's been a minute since we re re talked and everything like that and all the memories are flooding back. Yeah. Flooding yeah. back. Remember Even when, more so dude, than more your so. pussy juice. Remember when we got our first jobs together at Sonic? You were the fry cook and I was the car hop. You yeah. remember that? Remember when you used to eat it on those roller skates all the time? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. It, it, it kind of uh, prepared me for poundings mm-hmm. is how I look at it. <clears throat> poundings just in life or you mean like? Dick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I'd always fall on my ass, you know. So to take a good pounding, I already had that. I already had that in the bag. Now I've never been pounded in the ass before. Is that what that's like? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's just like slamming, like on roller skates. That's what oh, that yeah. feels like. You know, like when you fall on ice uh-huh. hard. Yeah. And you just literally your like, whole ass. You just. That's what it's like with every stroke. That's the kind of dick you're working with. Oh yeah. Really? But always. I mean, you're a celebrity, so you you can get whatever you want. And I do. And Daryl's cool with it. Oh, yeah. He's cool with you guys having an well, open here, relationship? Here's the thing, okay? Here's, here's how that came about. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm a man who, the, the, the women that I date, they get real pissed if I cheat. They get real oh, pissed. Oh, not me. I wouldn't. Here's the thing. Uh, you know, me and Daryl, we're, we're faithful to each other for, God, we've been together, what, 15 years? So mm-hmm. I'd say a good 10 years. And it was okay. You know, I craved other dick, but I never strayed, you know. Yeah. Well, he kept getting arrested and arrested and arrested. And he'd do a couple week stints, few months stints. Mm-hmm. And what was I to do while he's in jail? I don't know. What am I supposed to do when I'm horny? I don't know. And so one day he got out of jail. And I said, baby, I'm not doing this no more. I said, from now on, every time you're in jail... I get to play with whatever dick I want to play with thinking. So that's his penalty thinking that maybe he'd be like, Oh, well I got to stay out of jail. Yeah, I got to get you my know? shit together. Yeah. He don't give a shit. He still gets arrested. He said, you got to do what you got to do, baby. You know, I want you taken care of when I'm not there to take care of you. So sometimes if he goes like six months without getting arrested and I start getting a little, you know, wanting a fresh piece, I'll set him up. I'll set up a sting and I'll call the cops and just get him arrested. So I can go get some dick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, you know, we got a good marriage, though. I mean, that's a good loophole. Thank you. That's a very good loophole. Yeah. And honestly, you know, you didn't know that you was going to get free advice on this talk show today, mm. did you? Mm. It, it's going to be a deep talk show. We're going to, you know. It's going to be deep. Yeah. And we're actually out of time. Okay. Yeah. I just got word from a producer. Okay. So. Yeah. He's, yeah. Hey, Matt. Does this mean shut it off? Sure does. Okay. Okay. Well, damn, can you have me back? Cause I, I, I would not, love to have you back. I'd like to go in, in more into detail about the court squirts. Yeah, because, I mean, that's one of them things that it was alarmingly pleasurable for me. Yeah. And you haven't even seen it in person. <laughs> yeah, I just told you about it. Would you show me someday? Yeah. Just as platonic. Oh, it don't have to be weird. Just platonic. This could be, this could be the adult version of me showing you my pussy when I was eight. See, and more... People need to get on board with just sex not being a weird thing. It's just something that I like. I sang her pussy earlier. It wasn't weird. No, I loved it. I didn't it. get aroused or anything. Honestly, no. I just felt more like a man. Yeah. 
And that's what America is. Yeah. Being a man, mm -hmm. singing into pussies, court squirts. That's what America, the USA, the mm -hmm. land of the free, the mm -hmm. home of the brave, mm -hmm. is all. Mm -hmm. You want me to hold up the other yeah. side? Right here. Right there. Look at that. Right that's there. America. Court squirts. Oh, shit, it's, it's upside down. Court squirts. Court squirts. Hashtag. It, am I doing it right? Hashtag, Hashtag court, court squirts. squirts. You got it. Oh my God. Hashtag I'm going to court squirt all over this. <laughs> On the American flag? You're going to desecrate it? Why not? You wild, girl. You wild. Why not? Somebody's going to cancel me for it, but I don't give a shit. Thank you so much for uh, watching uh, Trailer Tales today. Uh, my guest is one of my best friends in the whole wild world. Uh, Tammy, thank you so much for you. coming on the show today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What the hell are you still doing here? Tammy told me to say, you should better subscribe, you better like it, you better comment and then tell some friends. And also she got a friend named Jeremiah Watkins who put out a new Amazon Prime special that you could check out right now. Or right now, if you stick around even longer, a little bonus feature, there's a sketch that's coming to you right now called Cowboy Confessions. Hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. How'd I do on my first show? My horses are doing good this year. Real strong. I saw that. You should be proud. How's your farm? Fine. Livestock's looking healthy. That's something to look forward to. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Do you ever get hemorrhoids from riding your horse for too long and wonder what it all means? Sure. All the time. Can I ask you a question? Of course. You ever milk your cow too long and start to see the reflection of your mother in the metal pail of the milk? God rest her soul. Yeah. Happened just yesterday. You ever put lipstick on the tip of your pistol in the middle of a musical and kiss it just to feel something? That's just a typical weekday. Does your butt start to fart when you pat a pig on the forehead? Do your eyes start to blur when you hear your uncle making love to a hot tub? Did you ever wish to be alone as a kid because people were always around and now that you're grown that wish was granted much too late in life and you have to live with the consequences of your actions from all those years ago reflecting every day about your choices does your heart start to break when you look in the mirror and realize that most of the best days of your life are now behind you You're just left wishing that you could go back and walk a day in the shoes of the man you used to be. And every fiber you're being is telling you that the only way to survive is to get up out of bed, put one foot in front of the other. 
forget about the good days it once was. You ever be sitting out there looking out at your farm and notice that some of those cows got badonkadonks. Big old titties. You ever jizz in a pancake and said, better up? You ever fart into a Ziploc bag and give it to your doggy as a treat? You ever look at a tree? You ever get out of the hospital after trying to kill yourself and your family says, ah, oh, you're still here? What? Nothing. You ever put your penis in the microwave like one of those marshmallow peeps and think it's gonna expand but it just gives you cancer? You ever hear a man say that a woman's place is in the kitchen you think to yourself, hell, I like cooking. Does that make me a woman? really coming down, isn't it? Sure is. <laughs>